All right, guys, so here I have a 62TE on this uh, Tales from the Bench video. And I mean, the clutches are not that bad. I mean, you, you can see the 2 4 frictions, the low reverse, uh, and the uh, overdrive. I mean, are a little bit, these are a little bit uh, kind of slipping a little bit. Uh, these are the underdrive, they look in good shape. And then you have the two reverse back here, uh, which they look all right. Two fours are a little bit, you know, kind of slipping. Low reverse looks all right, other than uh, the friction uh, material is a little bit worn out. But check this out. This is the first time I've seen this. And uh, the low drum on the overdrive section, or the compounder set, that's how they called it. This always has an issue with the ceiling rings. Now, I did not took this apart because the insurance is going to come and take some pictures of it. But as you can see here, here's the snap ring. This thing was acting very, very weird when we test drove it. And it had a, a few codes. I did not uh, write them down. I got to look for the codes. But it was acting very, very weird. As you can see, part of the drum are still stuck right here where it exploded. <clears throat> and here is part of the drum that holds the snap ring so basically what what holds the snap ring is completely gone we only got one piece left over right here you know where the snap ring didn't hold right here you know the opening was right here and the other opening was on this other side so this piece is still intact because that's I mean the snap ring was not holding there but everything else around it <clears throat> is gone well we got another piece over here <clears throat> that's there but this is a very common issue and i get this from the dealer there's a part number where all the steels and the frictions come with this drum the ceiling rings the filter uh it comes with new bolts for the pump uh, they are not torque to yield but it comes with those uh, but there you have it 62 te this is not very common this is the first time i've seen it but it's very common that this drum is worn from the uh, from the rings this is a low clutch that's the direct drum on the uh, compounder set or overdrive section on a uh, 62 te and as you can see everything else on the inside of the barrel of the case the main case uh, is just a 41 te or a 604 or whatever you want to call that as you can see over here i have a 42 rle and this one is out of a Jeep. When you run those 35s or 37s and you don't uh, uh, do your differentials, this is exactly what happens. I mean, the planets get destroyed. So if you're going to put 35s or 37 on a 42 RLE on a Jeep, this is a Grand Moss Caravan transmission, exactly a grocery getter. They put it, make it a real-wheel drive, put it on a Jeep. You put 35 or 37 uh, tires on it, this is what happens. You can see the low reverse as compared to that 62 T over there on that bench. Low reverse is completely gone. Two, four clutches, all that metal. See how the metal scrapes the frictions? And all that metal made it all the way to the pump and broke the pump. So this video was for this unit and not for this unit. But as you can see, I mean, we have the same drum. The input shaft is different because it's a 42 RLE. Torque converter has a long hub, as you can see there. And this is a VLP type uh, valve body, VLP type unit, which has the variable line pressure control. You have the, the pressure control solenoid and the pressure transducer there. Uh, so this is an 07 and up, <clears throat> as you can see there. Back to this one. As you can see, comparing those slow reverse frictions and the 2-4 frictions, which is the same exact same unit from the inside of the barrel of the case to that inside of the barrel of the case but this one actually has an overdrive section on it making like a deep overdrive both units are overdrived as you can see here uh, but yeah there you go 62 te so that's an extra i was going to do a uh, another video for that you know and do it separately separately but there you have it you got both units in one shot so this is what happens what happened to this one which is not common at all so uh, 62 te uh, low low drum exploded for some reason uh, here's the valve body so basically this is the same solenoid that you saw on the valve body it's a variable line pressure control 
and here is the transducer for this one as you can see they're both they both share the same system here we have the solenoid pack and on the 42RLE here we have the solenoid pack is the same concept they have the same uh, uh, solenoid uh, switch valve that always wears and on that I do the uh, transgo uh, depends on what size it is if it is 420 or 453 rim the valve body install that valve this one nothing had comes out yet but I haven't seen valve body warrants on this yet I mean I never had that issue rain sensors are an issue though so we're gonna put a new rain sensor on it uh, you get randomly I don't know why they set a rain sensor they're pretty simple I mean it's just all these uh, uh, four fingers right there and it's a digital sensor I mean there might be something wrong inside the connections but it's just fingers touching the scent the, the rail I mean that's what it is but they do fail solenoid packs as well they fail and they're not easy to replace on the vehicle so I might as well just put a solenoid pack on it because it's bolted to the opposite side of the valve body as you can see right there it's bolted on the opposite side these are the bolts for the solenoid pack you take this off solenoid pack comes off so it's not that easy you got to pull the valve body off and then you have these lines that go to the compounder set right here you can see those three holes those three lines they go through the case into here and uh, connect into that hydraulically all right 62 te tells from the bench uncommon but maybe some of you guys that are builders maybe you already saw that this is the first time i've seen that but wear on the ceiling rings on that very common Alrighty, until the next one.